Good morning, everybody. How you doing? This is Gloria. I hope all of you ladies had a wonderful weekend. Um, thank you for joining me for card 11 from my 20 Days of Christmas series. Um, today we are going to use the cartridge A Quilted Christmas again. This cartridge is so cute. I just, I mean, I keep on finding more and more, uh, cuts out of it. And, um, you know, I've been having it since it came out and I never used it at the beginning of my series or even for my, uh, sneak peek at it at all. So this is, I think this is one of my favorite cartridges for right now. But, um, I'm using this cartridge and I'm using this paper stack and this paper stack is called Utile. And this is another paper stack that I'm like in love with too. But anyway, about all the paper that I love. Let's get started, ladies. Okay, my card is going to be an A2 size card and it's going to be out at portrait style. No, landscape. So I end up, what I did, I ended up taking an eight and a half by 11, cutting it at four and a quarter, and this is 11. Then I took it and score it at five and a half. And instead of me putting the card this way, I turned it this way. So it's going to open up this way. Okay. And I already designed the inside. All I have to do is just stamp something and probably add a couple of more things to it. So. This is um, my first layer on this mat right here. It's going to be this green cardstock and it's going to lay right on top of the sage card. So let me put that down. I am so happy Saturday we end up we end up getting to pick a winner for my giveaway and Dragon Chick 19 end up winning it. So thank you so much for joining my giveaway. Okay, so this goes right here. Now, I end up using this paper before um on the Meet me under the uh, mistletoe, but um, I ended up putting a different other paper on top, so you really couldn't see it. So I'm going to use this paper again, and this is going to lay it right down here. So let me adhere this down also. Guys, today's the 10th. We got 15 more days. That's two weeks and one day more before Christmas gets here. And I just cannot wait. Okay. So I'm going to layer this right on top of here. Just like that. Okay, so that is our base. Now, I end up cutting a piece of ribbon from this domain. It's velvet ribbon handmade from India. And, um... I'm like in love, in love with this ribbon. I really, really do. It's so beautiful. The colors are so rich and it's so nice and smooth. Okay. So I already adhered it down in the back. And I'm going to kind of line it up as close as I can. Okay, so that looks good right there. So, I was kind of off a little bit, but you can't even tell really. Oh, I didn't notice, but I'm missing a spot right here. Oh, I hope I get to cover it up. But anyway, so this ribbon goes down right there. Yeah, you can't see it. Oh, this is going to be a bummer. I'm going to really hate that. Okay, so I'm just going to ignore it. I didn't even see it, okay, ladies? So now for our image on page 29 of the A Quilted Christmas, I end up using this chimney. And I end up using the one with the design on it. And I thought it was so stinking cute. 
I actually really like how that cut came out. So this is my image right here, ladies. I ended up cutting this out at four inches. And what I did, I used some glossy accents for the canvas to kind of bling it out. And instead of using a gray matte, I used a sparkly matte to kind of enhance it. And I used glitter. And um, right now it's the holiday season, so I got to glitterify pretty much everything I touch because it is such a beautiful season just for glitter. Okay, so I got this on foam tape, so let me take this off. Oh, I kind of really hate that 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 the ribbon looks like that hopefully I could barely I could kinda cover it up and what I did because I'm gonna add something right here to the bottom I added this piece of brown marble type paper because it's gonna be funny what you see what I'm gonna do so I kinda needed to extend it to act like that was a marble floor okay Oh my god, my girlfriend Priscilla, she's in Connecticut, and I like totally forgot she was going, and um, she's getting married on Wednesday, and I am so happy for her, and there's, the words can express how happy I am for her, okay, I just got one more, or maybe two more, and and then I'll be done taking off these sticky things. Next time I'll kind of pre-take them off first. So I don't spend that much time taking them off. So I'm going to adhere this down. Where's my tweezers? Oh. I'm going to try to center it. Does that look centered? Yes, that looks centered. Okay. And the canvas looks so awesome with that glossy accents. It really brings it out. Totally brings it out. Okay, so since I end up putting that down, and that's our card base. Now, what I end up doing was I end up going to going places and they had a campfire. And this campfire to me kind of uh Makes me, remind me of the chimney that has a fire underneath. So, I got this on some foam tape. And I'm just going to adhere it down. And I'm going to try to put it as far, but in the middle. Just like that. Okay. So it kind of looks like Santa Claus is trying to come down the chimney, but there's a fire there. And for my sentiment, ladies, I end up using the Scrappy Mom stamps. And this is called, uh, this stamp set is called Christmas Cheer. And I end, the stamp that I end up using is Dear Santa, I Can't Explain. So to me, I thought of that would be a perfect sentiment because, you know, when it's cold outside, you don't really think about Santa Claus coming down the chimney. And of course, Santa Claus do not never get burnt. But as my imagination goes on, I figure I will put this here and use that sentiment. And um, since Santa Claus kind of got stuck, he's under the fireplace. And I wasn't supposed to put the fire, fire on to begin with. So... And I already matted it out. I stamped it with Memento Black ink. And um, I thought it was really cute. So this is Memento Black Tuxedo Black ink. And um, I matted it on the green. The same green that I used as my mat. And I'm going to layer this right here on the side. Just like that. And I thought that was really, really cute. So... Dear Santa, I can't explain. I did not mean to put the fireplace on. 
I thought that cinnamon was so cute for this card. So there goes my card, ladies. I hope you enjoy. Come back and see me for card number 12 tomorrow. And you guys have a wonderful day now. Bye.